So this is the Sony XG300. It looks like a miniature XG500 and it has better portability to it thanks to its new built-in retractable carrying handle and better performing battery. And that's pretty much the main upgrade on this speaker over its predecessor, the Sony XB43. Nonetheless, if you're thinking about picking up the Sony XG300 or if you're thinking about upgrading, let's see what the Sony XG300 is all about. Now first, there's pricing. The XG300 has a retail price of $350, just like the XB43 when it first came out. But in pure Sony fashion, it's already on sale for $300. But personally, I still wouldn't recommend this speaker for $300. Maybe I'll recommend it if it's on sale for $250, and I do expect it to go on sale for that much, because the XP43 used to go on sale for $250 on a regular basis. Nonetheless, if you want to pick the speaker up, it'll be linked down below, or you can press on the YouTube shopping button. Give it a try. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch shelf down below. I've made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I can be very particular. So I'll only set my name on something that I'm really proud of. Now first, let's talk about the design of this speaker. The XG300 looks like a shrunken down XG500 and it looks very similar to the JBL Extreme 3. Gone is its very rectangular body and a rather festive light feature that was found on the XB43. Now, the XG300 still has a light feature, but it's now tucked away in the passive radiators. So, this light feature just isn't as prominent as the one found on the XB43. Now, say what you will about light features on your speakers, but this is clearly a downgrade from the XP43. Now, light feature aside, the XG300 still has a mostly fabric wrap body like the XP43 and a lot of other speakers out there. So, this speaker is going to have a no problem standing up to constant bumps and scrapes. Plus, it's also rocking an IP67 rating, meaning that it's water and dust resistant. Now, thanks to the new built-in carrying handle found on the XG300, this speaker is much easier easier to take on the go with you. And this is the main thing that I like most about this speaker over the XB43. And given that the XG300 weighs in at 6.5 pounds, it's a good candidate to constantly take on the go with you. We're going to tech specs. The XG300 has an advertised battery life of 25 hours, and that's with the speaker playing at 50% volume, with this light feature turned off, but with this mega bass feature turned on, which is good. However, 50% volume on the speaker is a little on the quieter side because the speaker does lean towards a warmer sound signature. But overall, the XG300 does have a better performing battery than the XB43. Because with the XB43, this speaker has an advertised battery life of 24 hours, but that's with this speaker playing at 50% volume and while in stamina mode, which basically means with its light feature turned off and with its extra bass mode turned off as well, which is going to severely reduce the bass on the speaker and make it sound super flat. Now, if you were to use the speaker with its extra bass mode turned on, which is how you should use the speaker, then we're looking at a battery life of around 20 hours. Plus, 50% volume on the XB43 sounds louder than 50% volume on the XG300 because the XB43 doesn't sound as warm. But real world use, if you were to use the XG300 at 80% volume with its mega bass feature turned on, but with its light feature turned off, we're getting a battery life of around 11 hours, which is rather impressive. And personally, I do recommend that if you do get the XG300, you might as well use it with the light feature turned off because it's so hard to see to begin with. And then that way you'll save on battery life. However, if you have an XB43, I do recommend that you use the light feature on that speaker because its light feature is objectively better than the light feature found on the XG300. So I do think that it's worth sacrificing a little bit of battery life on the XB43. However, if you were to use the speaker at max volume with this mega bass feature turned on and with this light feature turned on, then Sony is claiming a battery life of 4 hours. Or if you want to extend the battery life of this speaker past its advertised battery life of 25 hours, then you can always use it while in stamina mode. But just keep in mind, if you use the XG300 while in stamina mode, it is going to severely reduce its space, making it sound very flat. But overall, yes, the XG300 does have a better performing battery life than the XB43, specifically because with the XG300, its advertised battery life is with its mega bass feature turned on, whereas with the XB43, its advertised battery life is with its extra bass feature turned off. 
Regarding connectivity, the XT300 is using Bluetooth 5.2, but more importantly, the speaker can be connected to two devices at the same time, so you and a friend can both be DJ. And when it comes to audio codecs, the XG300 has support for SPC and AAC, very standard, but it also has support for LDAC, which is Sony's own in-house high-res audio codec. Now, whether you're an iPhone or an Android user, AAC is going to work perfectly fine. But if you do want to take advantage of LDAC, then you do have to be an Android user. And if you do decide to use LDAC, just keep in mind that it does take its toll on the battery life as well. But if you want to, you can always still use a wired connection with the XG300 because it still has a 3.5mm audio jack, which is becoming an exclusive feature for larger speakers now because Sony's midsize and smaller speakers no longer have audio jacks. Now, the XG300 also has a USB-C port, but this USB-C port is strictly used for charging. Unfortunately, you can't use this USB-C port as a wired connection and you can't use it to charge your own devices. Now, the XG300 also has a USB-A port, so if you want, you can use it to charge your own devices, but personally, I don't think this USB-A port is going to get much use out of it because now in 2022, most phones these days now just come included with USB-C cables. So please, can we get rid of the USB-A port here and just give me a second more versatile USB-C port that will allow me to use it as a wired connection and also allow me to charge my own phone with it. But now let's talk about actually listening to your music with these speakers. Regarding speaker setups, the XD300 has dual frontward firing woofers, dual frontward firing tweeters, and dual passive radiators that shoot out the sides. And this is the same speaker setup as the XP43. Except, you can't see it as easily. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the XG300 does have a warmer sound signature than the XP43. And if you want to extend the battery life on the XG300, you can use it while in stamina mode. But while in stamina mode, it does sound super flat. Nonetheless, we're going to jump into a sound test. Both the XP43 and XG300 are playing at 87% volume, and we're also going to be including the XG300 while it's in stamina mode. Swipe left, someone said something stupid. Swipe right now, I'm watching what you did. I went down, now I'm at a disadvantage. But I think that it's worth it. I put my headphones on. I play my favorite song. I go to sleep and try again. So, like you may have just heard, with the XG300, this speaker leans towards a warmer sound signature than the XP43. Whereas with the XP43, since the mids and highs are a little more pronounced, vocals come out a little stronger. But also, with the XP43, I feel that it sounds more open as well. And also, with the XP43, since this speaker has slightly stronger mids and highs, it also sounds a little louder as well. 
But then there's the bass on these speakers. Even though the XD300 leans towards a warmer sound signature, while in person, the XP43 has more physicality in its bass. Overall, I'm gonna have to say that the XP43 simply sounds better than the XG300 because it's not so bass heavy. However, as with all Sony speakers, you can customize the EQ on the XG300 to your liking. So, you can always get a brighter sound signature out of this speaker. But still, the bass on the speaker simply doesn't have the same kick to it as the bass on the XP43. And when it comes to max volume, the XG300 does get decently loud, but since the XP43 does have stronger mids and highs, it does sound a little louder. But definitely, the XG300 doesn't get as loud as its direct competitor, the JBL Extreme 3. And with both the XG300 and XP43, I did find that you get a slight performance boost with them while they're plugged in. But since it's such a small increase, I don't think that you're really going to notice. I barely did. But finally, let's talk about pairing this speaker up with other speakers. Now, the XG300 is using Sony's Party Connect, meaning that you can pair your XG300 up to an XG500, XE300, or to an XE200. Or you can also pair it up to any of Sony's other Party Connect speakers, like either an XB43, XB33, or an XB23. And you can pair up to 100 speakers together, which is obviously overkill, because at that point, you might as well just buy yourself a sound system. Or if you want, you can pair your XG300 to any of Sony's other larger box speakers that are also using Party Connect, like either a Sony XP500 or an XP700. Now, overall, Sony's Party Connect is very accommodating, and you have a decent amount of speakers to choose from. However, you cannot pair any of Sony's Party Connect speakers to any of Sony's older wireless party chain speakers. And also, if you want to get left and right stereo sound going, you have to have two of the exact same speakers. Even if you have an XG300 and XB43 like I do, they're only going to play in sync. Now, overall, Sony's Party Connect is very accommodating, and technically, yes, it does get the job done. But it is not my favorite. For starters, with the XG300, Sony has removed the physical Party Connect button that's found on the XB43. So with the XG300, if you want to get Party Connect going, you have to use the app, which is just an extra step that just wasn't there before. But also with Sony's Party Connect, sometimes getting these groups going does take a while and sometimes not all of your speakers will get grouped up. So you're gonna have to go through the pairing process multiple times. And also sometimes echoes do form. Now Sony's Party Connect does fix the echo after a while, but it's only a matter of time for that echo to come back. So overall, Sony's Party Connect gets the job done and there's a decent amount of speakers to choose from and I imagine that for the foreseeable future, Sony is going to be adding more speakers to choose from. But it can be a hassle to use when compared to other speaker pairing protocols out there. But finally, here's the mic phone test. Now the XG300 is sitting on the tabletop five feet away from me and facing directly at me. Now personally, I wouldn't take phone calls with my speaker because there is a good amount of echo to it in the background, but this microphone doesn't sound completely awful, and it's good enough for like a quick casual phone call to like tell someone, hey, I'll call you right back. So with all that being said, the XG300 is more portable than the XP43 thanks to its new built-in carrying handle and it has a better performing battery life than the XP43 as well. Both really good things if you want a speaker to constantly take on the go with you. However, when it comes to sound, the XG300 just sounds so shallow and narrow and it has less physicality in its base than the XP43. And then there's the matter of its light feature. This has always been a standout characteristic for Sony speakers, and this light feature just doesn't compare to the XP43. All I have to say is, if you already have the XP43, there's no need to upgrade. And if you're thinking about getting the XG300, I would look at other options first. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.